I did it! I did it! I read it! I read the thing! I fucking- I read the thing! I read the text! I read the regex code, and I know what it means! I've been looking at the matching email thing for so long, and I- I fucking did it! I fucking read the code, I read it, and I know what it means! Alright, look! Watch this! Watch! Fucking watch! Match an email! This carrot here, that means that's where it all begins! This parentheses, this opening and closing parentheses here, means that we start with a group! Alright, we're starting with a group, and then in that group we have a thing, we have a character classification, that's what these square brackets mean, it means character classifications between any character, that's A, through any character, Z. And then we have any digits, any any numbers between zero through nine. Underscore, an actual underscore, a slash, or a period, or a minus button. And our things. Plus, what does that plus button do? What is this? What is the meaning of this? You want to know what that plus button does? I'll tell you! That means one or more characters! So anything that is in a group, in the same group, that is any of these characters, A through C, any of these characters, 0 through 9, underscore, backslash, period, minus, one or more of those is necessary for your email address at the beginning! At! This ad button is the thing that you do when you're putting your ad at the email address as in 69omega at gmail.com, right? That's what that at means. Parentheses, another group. Now as you can see, there's a plus button at the end of this group. What does that mean again? It means there's gonna be at least one or more characters at the end of this group. And they do things a little differently. Over here we can see that they did 0 through 9. But over here they have a slash D. What does the slash D do, Kobe? Well, I'll tell you. The slash D means any single digit you could possibly fathom. Why didn't they do a slash D at the beginning? Instead of here, 0 through 9? I don't fucking know. I guess it's a preference. There's multiple ways you can do the same damn thing. And I guess they just spelt color in one way and then color in the other. It means the same thing. It's just two different ways ways of doing the same gosh darn thing! It's just like English, you know? Color, color, the same thing, right? So here they have a slash D, which means any fucking digit you can fathom. Not to mention A through Z. A through Z, or an underscore, or a pier- sorry, or a backslash, or a period, or a minus. In these square brackets, which means this is our range, this is our character classification plus, which means it's gotta have at least one of these things or more. That's the end of this group. Backslash period. What is a backslash period and what does it mean to you? A backslash period means that we're telling our machine I want a literal fucking period. Now why is that a literal fucking period and this is a backslash and a period both of these characters being accepted? The difference is whether or not it's caught between the square fucking brackets. So if it's out of the square brackets, then it's different. You can't just say period. If you can't just say period because that could mean I think anything or I think it could mean anything. A character of some kind and that's not what we want so outside of the square brackets we need to do backslash period again to specify an actual fucking period parentheses we're creating another group 
and, and inside this group another character classification, which hits different. Now we've got a backslash period inside the character, uh, uh, inside these square brackets, saying that this is a character that we want to include, as well as this in our search. So A through Z backslash or a period inside of our character classifications. Curly brackets, two comma six. What is that? It's still inside the freaking parentheses because the closing parentheses is right here, which means it's part of the same group, which means that this is a specification towards the character classifications. So therefore, it's any character A through Z backslash period that has a length between that's either from two to six. So it could be anything that's two to six characters long. Dollar sign. And that's how we know that the regex line has come to an end. And that's what it means. That's what it all fucking means. I've read it. I've read it. I know what it means. I know what it says. I've read the line. I can read regex. I did it. I read the line. I'm done. I'm done. And I'm done. I'm going home.